And welcome back, everybody. Well, fall is upon us, and one of my favorite events of the year is about to happen again over in the Round Tree neighborhood at T-Bar and Bites, the apron auction to benefit Ozark's food harvest. Jordan Browning and Sarah Bird are here to fill us in, tell us all about it. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Good, it's to, good see you to see you again. Yeah, you. How did the, I love this idea, food harvest, aprons, oh. totally makes sense. And it goes together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did the idea of the apron auction get started? Remind me. Well, Colleen Smith, the owner of Tea Bar and Bites, mm -hmm. um, those of us that are familiar with it, we know it's super cute. Yeah. And they're known for wearing their cute aprons, and they wanted to do something to give back. And so that's where the idea originated from. She thought we can have these handmade aprons, these vintage aprons donated by their patrons. And uh, that's how they started the event to raise money for Ozark's Food Harvest. What a great idea. All right, we have a little bit of video from last year, which, by the way, was pretty much exclusively online mm -hmm. last year in terms of the bidding. But you can get a feel for how fun this event is in person when you're at T-Bar. See, there's one of the aprons right there, and you're yeah. right. All of their wait staff um, wears these, and you can bid on these. How does it work? Well, this year we have an online portion and an in-person. Mm. So uh, you can purchase aprons online or you can come to the in-person event on September 30th and buy the aprons there. And we're also going to have a live auction for five special aprons. And one of the five aprons will come with $500 in gift cards for local food. Mm -hmm. But nobody's going to know which apron. Oh, oh. That, that makes it yeah. <laughs> better. Oh. So bid high, bid off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you're wearing a shirt, but yes. remind you that kind of depicts this, but remind mm -hmm. people how wide of an area this covers. Yeah, so this shirt features our 28 counties that we serve. So we've got 270 hunger relief agencies that we partner with across these counties. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this shirt just showcases our whole service area in Southwest Missouri. It's and a lot of people. It's a lot of people. And just before we came on, Jordan, you and Tom were doing the math on pounds and tons. Yeah, so yeah. 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 They're, they're struggling, but anyway, but talk about yeah, that, talk though. Talk about what the numbers you were talking about. Yeah, is um, Joey just had a, we were out there earlier this week sorting food, and we sort mm -hmm. 90,000 pounds of food per week going through Ozark's Food Harvest, which with our maybe math. Maybe math. Maybe if math. You figure, uh, <laughs> yeah, a ton is 2,000 pound, uh, pounds. That means you guys are sorting through 45,000 tons mm -hmm. of food. Yeah, that's per week. And that's to make sure that our entire 28 county service area gets covered, to make sure everybody can get fresh produce, canned goods, things like that for people in need right now. And that's why you need fundraisers like this, and that's why you need volunteers, mm, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we, de we definitely need volunteers at all times to make sure that we can keep that food going out so none of our pantries have to worry about having an empty shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I did enjoy my day as a volunteer mm -hmm. out there. I would encourage people to do that over at Ozarks Food Harvest. And September is Hunger Action Month, so you've got the apron auction happening, but all sorts of other stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, we have our empty bowls event. Uh, that features handcrafted bowls made by local artists. That's on September 24th. Uh, Go Orange Day is September 9th, which we gave you guys t-shirts and some fun orange right. things for that. Love it. Uh, and then we have partnerships with dozens of local businesses across the area. And you can find all of that information at hungeractionmonth.info. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. And you can also. Hungeractionmonth.info. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And you can sign up if you want to volunteer. You guys make mm -hmm. it very easy if you want to go volunteer for the Food Harvest or One Info. So remind people what your website is if they want to do any of these things. Yeah. For anyone who's interested in more information or volunteering, is it? ozarksfoodharvest.org. And we try and make it as easy as possible. You can see our whole volunteer schedule sign up whenever is convenient for you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And by the way, the fashion show once again is coming up on September 30th at mm -hmm. T-Bar and Bites. I get to MC it this year, so I'm <laughs> yes. gonna be there. Yeah. And uh, I saw you put out a Facebook invitation too, mm -hmm. and I sent it to a couple of friends and Yay. they said they're coming. So get your tickets early, because T-Bites yes. is a wonderful place, but it's not the biggest place ever. Right. So if you wanna actually be in the party, you better yeah, get on right. it. Mm -hmm. So you, you get to do some good for people, but you're also going to be getting really an individualized piece of art. Yes. With yes. the aprons, with the bowls, yes. everything. And we mm -hmm. also have some fantastic auction items that are yeah. there. We've got some awesome donations from Mother's Brewing Company, a private party for up to 20 
is on the table, um, some Kansas City Chiefs tickets. Wow, and there's food and drink to be had yes. too, so yeah. it's a fun time it's for sure. Time. All right, Sarah and Jordan, thank <laughs> you, and thanks here. for all you do at the Ozarks thank Food Park. Yes, thank you for having thank us. You. All right, well, coming up, Tom introduces us to a new attraction in the Ozarks. Yeah, we'll be back with another Best of Brands.